Welcome to the Medical Design Excellence Awards. On the 15th anniversary of the Design Awards, I'm uh, happy to see that the program is continuing and being supported. I think it's really found a place in the medical device industry world, and it's, uh, it, it's having an impact, I think. It's a remarkable event having to see the MDEA Awards go for 15 years now. The actual amount MDEA has grown over the last 15 years is remarkable. It's the only competition that really reflects clinical efficacy and design, engineering, all of the innovations that happen within it. Um, so it's really grown uh, over the years to a great institution that we always look forward to. Fifteen years later, I'm very pleased that it has a lot of gravitas now. I think people really are excited about being part of the awards program and are very honored that they receive an award. Being around that long uh, really makes me uh, believe that it is a worthwhile organization and competition that is reflecting market trends e each year. What innovation trends am I seeing in the industry? And what I see as a human factor specialist is that companies are investing more energy now into the quality of user inter interaction with the product. The mobile applications seeing more and more of how people are interfacing on a personal level with their iPhone or with um, technology in the house. Miniaturization, um, making things smaller and lighter and, and easier and, and cordless. Devices are smaller, sensors are smaller, but the important part of that is that the information that they're actually um, gathering and generating is starting to be um, transmitted and stored into secondary devices. I think you're seeing uh, more in the world of diagnostics, lab on a chip type products, the, integra the integration of different nanotechnologies into products. Um, I also see a lot of influence in the clinical trials and the results of the clinical trials. There's much more focus on uh, home care and uh, diseases and uh, conditions that are lifelong conditions that that are patient management issues. Well, the innovation trends that I've been looking at this year see a heavy use of tablets, computers, uh, touch screens, and electronics and software to simplify and enhance the uh, user experience and make the products more effective. So we're seeing very different ideas coming into play, uh, and not all of them are cost-centric. They're also focusing on improving patient care by not just by reducing costs, but also improving patient compliance, for instance. So we're seeing very different uh, angles coming into play uh, in terms of innovation.